Hi there. I am back with uh, finishing off the cross square. And what I decided to do was the V-stitch all the way around the whole thing. And I'm gonna show you how I do that on this uh, last side here with a corner. And so let's set this like that and grab our project. So on the corners for this one, I did um, two half double crochets, which in turn is a V-stitch, two chains, and then two half double crochets. Again, I'm using a K hook, if you didn't see the first video. Uh, for the first video, I showed you how I put together this cross, if you're just coming across this one. So the V-stitch, you know you're gonna wanna skip a stitch. And again, we don't have perfect stitches because we are going um, up the side where you chained. So you're just gonna have to do your best guess for the first round, make sure it looks even, and then the second round, you're gonna have somewhere to go. So you wanna set yourself up with a good foundation. So don't brush on this one. And sometimes it looks like it's too here, but I go down here and see, you know, where do I think it's gonna look best? And sometimes I'm too far over or too close, just pull it out and move over a little bit. And then when you get to the cross part where I did the uh, front post, back post, that part's easy because I just go in between every other stitch. So I can't wait to get there. And so front or V stitch, half double crochet. So I'm gonna go in right there. The other thing about this cross that I'm working on, this cross is not gonna be in the middle of my blanket. I'm either gonna have it on the right top corner or the left top corner because I want it to be not perfect. And the other reason for that is when you fold it, I want you to be able to fold it and still see the cross. So when you put stuff in the middle, unless you really fold, you know, all the way around the middle, which is kind of difficult to do, um, I, I think, uh, yeah, if it's in the right or left, then when you fold it up, your cross is still showing because the rest of this, again, I don't have a pattern, so I'm kind of going along, you know, how I see fit and what I feel looks good. Um, I don't know my next color choice. And so, I don't know where I was going with that because I was counting, here we go. All right. So let's go here. I'm gonna skip that and bring these guys together, okay? I'm leaving my um, ends open. I, I just like that uh, kind of crooked or zigzaggy look, I guess, versus having it finished off all the way around. Again, guys, that's totally up to you. Okay, so now we're at this part of the cross where it's um, front post, back post. And so I am, there's one stitch in between. I'm going to go one, two. I'm actually uh, 
skipping two full stitches, but only one space, if that makes sense. When you're doing it, it makes sense. Because if you did skipping just the one stitch, you'd be right next to each other because of the front post, back post scenario. Again, uh, I, in the other video I told you, I'm using two strands to get this thickness because my other yarns I'm working with are thicker. And so I'm gonna finish up with the V-stitch and I'm probably gonna go around a couple more times so everything's nice and flat and tight and ready uh, to carry over what I'm going to do next. So uh, with that being said, after I do a few more rounds and make it quite bigger, I will uh, maybe chime in and give you a glimpse at that so you can see how it grows and get more inspiration for maybe a project you're working on. So thanks for watching guys. Happy crocheting. I'll give you one more peek here. So we came up, I just need to set this down because I am too close. There you go, so that's my cross panel. Can't wait to see what I decide next. Happy crocheting.